Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper three of October, November 2003 of E-level math. So again, in this video, we're going to be uh, doing all the questions um, step by step and explain as detailed as possible. With that being said, let's move on to the questions. Now let's move on to question number one. So here we have to solve this inequality. So we have modulus on this side less than five. Now, because we don't have x on both sides, here we have only x on this side and not on this side, uh, we don't need, to, you can of course square both sides and solve, but we don't need to do so, we can solve this in an easier way. So let's break this down. This will become, we're taking the value of, the value inside is 2 power x minus 8 is indeed less than 5, or 2 power x less than 8 is more than minus 5. Again, this is just a way of breaking this modulus down when we don't have x on both sides. So let me write this down again. Let's say you had a modulus of x less than a. Well, given this is modulus over here of x, and here we don't have x, we can break this down as x is indeed less than a, or x is more than minus a. So same method will apply here. Now what's x? Uh, we will try to make x become subject, so you will have 2 power x, less than, send this over here, 5 plus 8 should be 13. And here we have same steps, minus 5 plus 8 should be 3. Now you can see here we have to bring the x down, so we apply log or ln on both sides, up to you. Again, we apply ln or log to bring the x down, because we do know by the laws of logarithms, this will come here, right? Same way, you will apply this out here as well. Right, here you go. Now, you will have what? So to find the value of x, we have to divide by this value. To find the value of x, again, divide by this value. So what you have to know, is this value positive or negative? So log of 2, it is positive. Now, why do I want to find this? Is because if when you divide by a negative value, the sign will change. But in this case, it is positive. It is good to, to go. So finally, x will have to be less than log 13 divided by log of 2 so x will have to be more than log of 3 divided by log of 2 so x less than what so log 13 divided by log of of 2 that will be 3.70 here we have log of 3 divided by log of 2 more than 1.58 3SF Now obviously we can write this better. How? Let's draw a number line Where's 1.58? Let's say 1.58 is somewhere over here Now where is 3.7? Is this after? You will be somewhere over here Right Now X needs to be more than this on this side and has to be less than this, so it is between those two. So your answer will be x has to be between 1.58 and then 3.70. Okay, and this is your answer for question number one. Again, if you want to square both sides, you can always do that. It is up to you. But here in this case, it is, this is much faster, and this is your question number one. Now let's move on to question number two. So here we have to expand this one in ascending powers of x up to and including the term x power 4. Now, uh, first thing first, how would you expand this? You will use the binomial expansion. Now, we have to know there's a few conditions to use that. What is the condition? For example, let's say I have 1 plus x power n. For me to use this, this expansion, this have to be plus 1 and this have to be negative. Now, if that's the case, I can con we can uh, continue with uh, the formula, it is 1 plus n times x plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial times x squared plus and so on. It will keep going on. But that's only possible when this one is plus 1 and this one is negative. So in this case, what do we have? Let's, let's kind of compare, right? Here we have 2 plus x squared minus 2. This is negative, good. But this is 2, which is not good yet to use the formula. 
So we kind of have to change that to use it. How can we change that? We have to take out the value of 2, so value of 2 taken out. You will have also to bring the power with it. You will have this. Okay, you, you will become 1 plus this 1 over 2. Okay, you will have minus 2. Obviously, we have to uh, play with this. So if you want to, we can simplify this right now. So what is 2 power minus 2? This is 0 0.25. So this is 0 0.25 is just 1 over 4. So we have to expand this and then times this thing over here. Now this is 1, this is minus 2. Negative, we can use the formula directly. It is 1 over 4, which is this one outside, and the inside will become 1 plus nx, nx is minus 2, x here is this one, which is x squared over 2, plus uh, n is minus 2 times minus 3 times x squared, which is that we have over 2 squared divided by the value of 2 factorial. Okay, now let's see what do we have. So this will cancel out with this, so you will have 1 over 4, 1, this is minus sign, minus x squared, and what else? Here we have minus 2, this will become plus, right? And this is 2, we'll cancel out with this, so you will have plus 3, x power 4 over 4. So finally, if we expand, you will have 1 over 4, minus 1 over 4, x squared, plus 3 over 16 x power 4. So we have to expand this up to the term in x power 4 according to your question. And that is your question number 2. I hope the first half of the video was somewhat helpful. If you guys would love to access the full video, feel free to click on the Patreon link on the main page. Otherwise, you can go to the description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.